Hello everybody. This is a special reading for the transit that we are going to see tomorrow. So tomorrow we have vernal equinox which is corresponding with the movement of sun in Aries and we also have a super full moon in Libra so a very important day uh, tomorrow so let's uh, see how and what the market is saying about crypto and uh, I'm going to use three decks for this reading and I'll be using the dream the dreamscapes and I will be using the uh, main deck the read and wait deck first to clarify uh, how the market is and then we will go for each zodiac with the small deck of mine so let's get started overall let's see the energy of uh, the market how it's going to behave and uh, in the next vernal equinox which will be corresponding with a full moon and the sun shifting uh, to Aries uh, would be uh, 11 years from uh, today so it's, it's a very auspicious day tomorrow and especially for people uh, whose uh, third house or the tenth house or the eighth house are in uh, you know are, are, are those are the houses uh, because the sun will be shifting to Aries so people who have Aries uh, as their third house or they are third from Aries or 10th or 7th will be pretty auspicious we will discuss it as we go by signs so first let's let's read about the uh, the market overall the cards have been shuffled I have been shuffling and cleansing and meditating on the cards so without much delay let's get started Please tell us how the market is going to behave. Okay, as we see the market, if we see, um, the market is pretty stable as of now and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty stable doing good on its own and, uh, you know, the, the energies in the market are good enough. People are uh, in an abundant state, not in too much of loss. I mean, it's a, it's a stable market. Uh, as of now and uh, you know but I, I see something there is this lack of truth which could mean that uh, you know there is uh, some some actions 
need to be taken you know uh, it's it's very stagnant at this point of time if i see these are the past uh, situations this is a present and this is the future so in the past i see the market is kind of stabilized it's there's not much much movement in it and uh, there are, if i see the page of uh, sorts which is in reverse so it this this need not mean a very uh, bad uh, card as um, many people would read it but i would see it that uh, you know the way the market is functioning there needs there is a need for uh, you know the change in the course of action that that is what the page of swords in reverse uh, signifies and that would mean that you know people uh, are making or people are having unnecessary or uh, over expectations excessive demand from the market maybe in terms of coins uh, how they are performing or maybe in terms of the value of the coin people are expecting a lot a lot uh, from the uh, market but uh, you know the but the result uh, i'm not seeing that you know it's it's not serving its purpose so it's kind of stagnant abundant in its own way but people have higher expectations but i see a kind of stagnancy i mean nobody is doing anything about it but everybody wants uh, you know the best of it so if you see uh, the present energy then uh, as i would see that there is uh, people uh, i mean in general people are waiting people are uh, waiting and uh, you know there is hope there there are people who are hoping that the situation will improve and uh, of course uh, people do want uh, the you know uh, people are patient and uh, you have to understand that there is help in the way you know there is uh, people have confidence traders investors people who are jumping into the crypto market so they have that confidence but what i see is that they need to re examine revisit introspect and define what exactly do they want from the market you know that is where i feel there is this lack of clarity there is where uh, it is stuck is that uh, we are not we are not defined as to what we want what will make us as investors you know happy or what is it that would fulfill uh, us so that is one energy which i am seeing in uh, the current uh, market scenario this this is the current energy and maybe with the full moon uh, you will be able to see it more if you are an investor i mean you have to be very clear as to what exactly uh, do you want i mean from the market what is your expectation what is it that you you want to achieve in this market i mean the market is fine it is it can give you growth but what exactly do you want and then we have the high priestess in uh, reverse which means that you know uh, first of all you're not clear as to what you want secondly you have uh, you know you have this expectation or you have this expectation of things happening easily without putting much work into it and uh, you know you, you don't want to put in any effort in it and uh, you you uh, either uh, people who are trading or who are invested in the market they don't want to do the hard work they don't want to put in effort and uh, they uh, do not uh, they have this desire to escape uh, as an uh, you know that that kind of energy where let the market pick up and i'm going to sell off my assets and and move i'm going to convert them into dollars because whatever i've invested even if the market picks up by 10% or 20% i'm going to move out uh, with my investment so that is the kind of energy which i'm seeing in the in the current scenario i mean uh, things people nobody wants to put in the effort everybody wants the results but very easily and at the same time nobody wants to work diligently to achieve 
you know what they want from the market if they want that kind of growth then uh, that, that growth or anything in, in terms of you know growth needs some kind of effort and i don't see that effort or that willingness to put that effort uh, into the market now when i see the future energy then uh, i i see it that you know again a lack of focus so if if i see the continuance this page of swords in reverse is somehow continuing here the lack of focus be clear on what you want again the lack of focus getting getting to you know that having the desire of achieving things easily quickly without any effort put in that is the uh, energy of the high priestess in reverse and then when i see the future it's again the queen of pentacles in reverse which would mean that uh, you know uh, there is no focus there is no focus there is no perseverance things are very scattered your your energies are very scattered people who are there in the market i mean people the traders they don't know they simply don't know they don't know whether where to reach the balance whether to sell off their assets and move out or whether to continue and nurture it and you know work towards the growth the development of the market if that would mean taking some risks then i i don't see that in even in the near future i don't see that but yes the moment you decide on you know you'd make that decision of being focused being perseverant taking care taking responsibility not to expect things to just flow in easily then i see the outcome as the empress it the market has potential guys i mean um, you know if you're taking calculated risk and if you're taking a uh, passion in this market then uh, you know if you put in your your, your passion into this uh, crypto market and take interest in it then i see growth then i see the growth in the crypto market because the empress is the energy of somebody who is very balanced who has a lot of idea she is the uh, divine feminine she has a lot of emotions ideas creativity perseverance passion in what she does so that is exactly what is needed in in this market for this market to succeed so uh, yeah i mean i i see the market as uh, you know starting as uh, you know something which has a lot of potential which can give a lot of abundance but at the same time there are opportunities to develop the market so if you see it from again i repeat from the past i see there is there were a lot of opportunities uh, that could have developed it had a lot of potential but just because of the lack of focus lack of diligence lack of what exactly people are expecting has led to this crossroads where you don't know exactly what exactly do you want and at the same time the energy is of that i am not going to put any effort but i want results to the maximum i want um you know lucrative returns without investments that kind of energy or you can also see it as the energy of that okay let the market pick up i'm going to sell off my assets convert them into dollars or or my local currency and move out and that lack of vision lack of perseverance i see it continuing in the future the moment this comes out you come out of this energy then comes the success then comes the empress so all this market needs is from potential to the boom it just needs focus of the people who are there in the crypto market who are working in the crypto market and that is exactly what i see now when i go energy wise uh spirits please tell me the outcome spirits please tell me please guide me towards the outcome spirits please guide me towards the outcome please help me see the outcome of the crypto market please help me see the outcome of the crypto market i'm using the dreamscapes uh, tarot deck in case anybody is interested to know what decks do i use oops yeah you see the outcome is the 4 of wands and the queen of cups 
and the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Swords, not willing to let go, ready for the fight, ready to see the end of the battle. That is the outcome. And if I see the outcome in terms of Four of Wands, Four of Wands is stability. Four of Wands is, uh, it, it means uh, success. It means um, activities which come in the forefront. I mean, uh, you you are, it's, it's like you've come to that fork in the road. So now you have to look into all your options. What is there? What is not there? What you can do? What can be done? what cannot be done so that is uh, so now whatever past efforts you have put in they are going to give results that is the four of wands and that is what i see as the outcome if you stop this energy and come into this energy that i am going to work towards making my investments a success i'm going to work towards focusing on what i want and not expecting things to just happen naturally and then I see the result as the Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is, you know, it is the time you take to re-examine what you want. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart, what it wants. Don't be bogged down by the trivial details or what others are demanding. You know, that kind of energy. So don't get bogged down by, oh, but today the market is down by one point. Or today, uh, you know, the Bitcoin came down by $100. No, that's not your focus. Listen to what your intuition is saying. If you feel that this is going to give you growth, then this gives you growth. If you feel that, no, I shouldn't take this risk, then you shouldn't take this risk. And this is what I see a very positive outcome for the crypto market in the coming days uh, till till the uh, you know till the end of april because the sun movement in aries this is going to stay you know till uh, uh, this thing uh, till till the end of april so i uh, see this uh, you know a, a good outcome provided you take interest in it provided you you guys uh, take uh, initiatives towards working towards making this a success if you're expecting things to just happen naturally i'm sorry as a trader or as an investor or even as a coin developer you're not going to find any success in it but yes if you put in your efforts think with your heart take that leap of faith Listen to your intuition and work on it. I see a lot of success. Now let's pull cards uh, quickly. You know these are the decks I uh, use by Dennis Fairchild. Um, in case again, if somebody is interested to know uh, what uh, the energies are, I'll just quickly read the energies for each of the zodiac signs. Take it as it resonates and if it doesn't, go by your instinct because that is what the market is uh, asking for. And yes, uh, the moment you, you will feel that, you know, coming tomorrow onwards because the moon is, uh, the super moon is in Libra, there would be a focus on balance. There would be a focus on the need for balance. You will see and things which are not happening in your life, things which are not serving their purpose, you will gradually see yourself moving out of them or letting go of them. So that's the energy every one of us is going to face. So spirits, guides and angels, please give us quickly a quick guide to what should each respective zodiac signs do. Guys, when I'm, I'm going to read this for the tropical. I'm not reading for the Vedic as of now because the Vedic, uh, you know, uh, I do read them in my private readings. And uh, my private readings are always a mix of Vedic and tropical. So in case you want to know in more details about your uh, investments or about your personal life or about your career or in general and... Uh, please do book a private reading. This is a general reading and it will not resonate with all zodiacs across the world. I Sometimes I do wish that it did, but then life would have been very boring in case all Cancerians are going through the same thing and all Virgos go through the same thing or all Sagittarius have the same result, then 
the world will be a boring, very boring place, no? Uh, so, without much delay, let's let's start. So, I start with Aries. Aries, three of cups in reverse. Taurus, the seven of cups in reverse. Gemini, the six of cups. A lot of Cancerian energies. Cancer, the five of cups. Leo, temperance. This is your card, Leo. So you are in your element. Virgo, death. Scorpio, magician. Ooh. Sagittarius, the king of pentacles. Indeed. Capricorn, the page of wands. And Pisces, the knight of pentacles. So yeah. Let me quickly guide you guys uh, through what uh, you need to know in case of your investments and uh, so we start with Aries Sun is moving into your house that is the first house so you will have unnecessary temper issues be careful of your temper I know Arians are very hot-headed people anyways but please be careful of your temper uh, for the next one month you will suddenly Feel the urge or the irritation towards things, things which are not serving you. Don't flare up. Please control your temper. Maybe try some meditation and don't bring those temper out in your investment. Here I will not talk about in general. I'll talk in terms of your investments. So as I see uh, the three of cups in reverse. So this uh, would uh, mean that there would be disappointments. But don't as I said, because this is the time for this, but don't get, uh, you know, don't, don't stop. Don't stop because you're disappointed. Don't stop because you lost a few bitcoins or a few ether in trading. It's okay. It's okay. Every day you cannot have gains. This would be the period where you will. So, you know, be very careful of overindulging. So when you don't, don't have that gambling spirit when you're, uh, you know, uh, investing. Don't play the gambler. Don't, don't try to be the gambler, you know. And at the same time, uh, don't be jealous of anybody else's uh, success. Um, don't be jealous of others. Stop focusing on others. Focus on your investments. Stop indulging, uh, overindulging. And at the same time, if you lose a few... Uh, coins here and there please don't get into depression because I see that uh, happening to you you might feel a bit uh, down you might feel angry frustrated on yourself it's okay it's just an energy it will pass in a month's time so be very careful think twice before you invest and uh, be careful uh, in your investments uh, okay now we move to Taurus Taurus again the seven of cups in reverse so it means that, you know, you're not clear in communication. So Taurus, you need to communicate. I know earth signs, you hate talking. You like keeping things to yourself. But this is the time you need to communicate clearly on what you want. And, uh, you know, don't get strung up with your emotions. And, and don't, don't put too much of emotion into what you're communicating. For example, if, if you are a coin developer and your community mod or, or somebody in the admin is not working properly, you tell him that logically. Talk to your investors logically instead of, you know, just suddenly behaving like the bull that you are, you know, just going and charging them with, uh, you know. So don't get high strung. And uh, right now you might see a lack of patience. So again, like Aries, you need to relax. Aries, you will have, again, the anger, Taurus, you will feel impatient. 
and uh, so you know don't don't get don't let your worries uh, take over you just just relax do some deep breathing uh, try some uh, meditation if that helps you but please uh, don't don't get overwhelmed with this sudden impatience and anger that you have and don't communicate be very wise in your communication communicate clearly don't go around uh, you know talking uh, out of anger or out of emotions okay and now we come to Gemini the six of cups so you're you you are magnetic this period you know whatever you do be firm uh, you know when you take decisions especially in the matters of the art don't uh, don't let uh, what your past experiences distract you if you are a trader and if you are trading, don't go by what your past experience has said. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. And this is a very good time to uh, relocate or to change the way you invest. This is a very good time for investment and with the sun moving to Aries. So that would mean your third house. You would be the third house. Definitely a very good time for your investments. So you will see a lot of profit and crypto investments if you are going in for now. Uh, then we come uh, to Cancer, uh, the Five of Cups, Cancer. Things are not always what they seem, you know, so keep your emotions in check is all I can say. Um, uh, you, you are almost in the similar energy as uh, uh, the Aries and the Taurus, but only difference is you are not angry, you are not impatient. It's just that you are you are suffering from illusion. You are believing what you think you're seeing, but it's not that. You know, go by the facts and demand facts from others. Don't go by what you are seeing. You know, don't don't believe in what you're seeing. Go by the facts. Don't don't go by what people are saying or what you saw or what you you think you saw or you you feel somebody else is doing. Don't go by your feelings. This is not the time. So when you are come when it comes to investments, please check the facts before you invest instead of going by what people are saying or what you see in the sell wall or the buy wall of the exchange. You know, don't go by that. Go by what. Uh, the facts are check the historical uh, data before investment uh, check uh, what the, how the market is performing and uh, based on that take a decision but I would suggest at this time uh, don't be hasty when it comes to uh, you know investments okay now we come uh, to so again cancer be careful Aries be careful Taurus be careful in investment Gemini definitely go ahead I want to be a Gemini today. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's uh, let's go to the uh, uh, Leo. Leo, so temperance, a fire uh, card. I know temperance actually means uh, Sag to a lot of people, but uh, for me, it can be anybody in the fire. It can be Aries, a Sag, or Leo, uh, especially uh, Leo or or Sag. So. You know, you need to compromise a bit. I know it's difficult as a Leo to compromise. Uh, perhaps you're not, you're not, perhaps it could be that you're not looking into things uh, with uh, objectively, you know. So try to see the other side of the story. Try to see both sides of the story before you go ahead with any of your crypto investments. Look into both the things. Use common sense is all I can say. Use common sense and use that good management skill that you're born with. Leos are born leaders. I mean, use that and use some common sense. The, you know, uh, postpone, don't, don't go into unnecessary debates and, uh, you know, uh, unnecessary argument with people. Uh, if you find uh, people, other people with a closed mind, it's okay. Let them stay with their closed mind. You don't go, you don't have to really search forward and, and open those uh, for them. You, you focus on what you are doing. A good time to for investment if you are thinking objectively and if you are using your brains. If you are seeing both sides. But before you take any decision, Leo, please look into both sides and then make a decision. Okay, Virgo. You are changing. There is a change. You are coming into a growing phase. So... You, you will realize it, you will acknowledge it slowly, but yes, you are, uh, you know, you will find 
uh, very yourself very lonely nobody's there to help you so uh, don't don't take if if you are asking for help from people and people say no don't take it as a final answer don't take it as a final answer it might change these are all temporary phases it's because you are like the phoenix who's just burnt and now a new phoenix is going to come out of it so you know stop uh, doing things that again with this full moon you a lot of you will find this energy stop things that are not serving you anymore stop uh, you know avoid that self pity that oh i lost so much oh i always lose oh people don't understand me it's okay nobody will understand you get it because even you you get into the hermit mode from time to time you you do not it's difficult for a virgo to express you you keep things to your mind so uh, you know avoid the self pity and and please get rid of some of your old habits if you have a old pattern of investment old pattern of thinking into things looking into things get over it think new because i see death i see change i see uh, uh, you are you're entering a new phase of your life so uh, you know stop doing uh, things which you are doing because you have to do them there's nothing called have to you don't have to get into the routine if it doesn't serve you you don't do it simple you do it in a different way so when it comes to your investment if you had some old patterns and they did not serve you change your pattern change the way you look into it all right then we come to scorpio scorpio the magician the manifester you know you you are trying to manifest something scorpio and uh, i see uh, you know uh, you as the uh, you know you 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 are suddenly full of energy you know that that adrenaline rush inside you is it it's the time you know you you can test your limits it's a very good time actually you can test your limits and you can see how